Hey you guys, and we are finally back at a game where episode 15 of Jujutsu Kaisen where we have a, such a fun little cliffhanger to a dress with none other than Toji just making an appearance. So I guess pop in and say hi. Honestly, who knows what this man is on. So let's just definitely get straight into things and see what happens. <laughs> It came in like such a troll. Welcome. Your dad. <laughs> oh. Yeah. No, no. Yep, yep. Totally part of the plan. Uh huh. Uh huh. Give it to him. Oh. I mean, Maki is not someone to just be flung around like that, but I mean, it is Toji. Let's just hope that Toji, yeah? Yeah, you here to help? But I guess since Toji doesn't need Kurosan, how? Her technique had lost the chance to terminate. A murder machine if he wasn't already a menace. Oh, you will regret to say those words. Ugh, severely. That, like, just slow mo close up to that smirk. Yeah. Fuck, he just. Split the ocean. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, director to. Okay, I guess that works out. So it's not like Toji is more so. Con I thought he was like consciously going to help like his son out. Um, but no, I don't think that's the case. I think it's just more so he is like on a rampage of a fighting machine, and he just targets the strongest. And luckily, in that moment, it is um Dango. Those. Maniacal facial expression. Oh, that was kind of on your face. Oh, never mind. It was in your face. It was in your mouth. I love how you got like these beachy like surfer vibes, but a little bit more like demonicified. <laughs> Rip the fishies. You good? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> this is why I don't like the deep ocean where you can't see shit. The scale of things. How do you, where did you even slap that? It was so big. But like, the, the told you it was so small. <laughs> But I guess the sheer force. That water scene was refreshing to see. Okay, now, yeah, you're officially from a horror movie. <laughs> this is so one sided that. I I'm kind of starting to feel bad for that girl. Oh, that was a slick move. Yeah, yeah, I mean... 100% place my bets on Toji. Oh my god, he's sharpening it mid-battle. Because he needs something to... Whoa. Yeah, I think you are. Yeah, that's kind of how everyone feels about Toji. I can too. Oof. Really? This is pure. Just 
Brutality. I just love how you can feel how different the fights are. Like, not necessarily because we don't have the power, but just like the style. Like, Toji is out for murder, where that's not necessarily the case for our, like, sorcerers. Toji. This is your son! No? Okay. If Toji was to turn on us, I don't think we could do anything about it. Wait, what happened? Did he just push you out? <gasps> um, when did you get here? You didn't sense his presence whatsoever, did you? Nanami! <gasps> what? Okay, okay, time, 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 time. Wait, but you, you can see seconds. Wait, no, he did not just kill three. What do you mean, Sukuna? The thing is? You're gonna feed him the fingers? <laughs> to bring out Sukuna? What? Why? <laughs> Please tell me it was just one. <laughs> I need a backup. Oh, that's where you're just going to shove all 20 in. His body will not be able to adapt quickly. But Sukuna's a wild card. You don't know what if he's going to... What is going to happen to our boy Itadori? Are we going to see Sukuna? I'm not going to lie. Sukuna's kind of been totally the last thing on my list just with everything that's been going on. So the fact that we're... Going back into, I guess, like, what was the main importance of season one? Um, yeah, like, I kind of forgot. Oh, my God. Whoa, how did you guys survive that? No, it's more like you came back to life. Mm. Considering, oh, they took a photo. Maybe it's, oh, I think you're missing a hand. Long time no see. You know it's real when you forget to breathe. Bowing, bowing. Didn't bow low enough. Didn't bow low enough. Why would you still raise your head? Exactly. You should have been licking the fucking floor. What what are you guys planning? A figure's worth of an audience. Breathe and speak. Breathe and speak. I don't think Sukuna does requests. Really, this was your plan in getting Ghetto back? You really relying on Sukuna? Re he still is. One and only best friend. Oh. Is that no? Is that an offering, a threat, or a deal? No, no, no. I'm okay. I'll keep my head to the ground, at your feet. Sorosukuna. Why? 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 Oh, I mean, no, no. I don't question it. Why? Why am I questioning? Yeah. 
Oh, fuck. I just saw someone get diced into... Nothing. I need a timeout. True, I guess it was. They didn't necessarily care if Sukuna was a wild card. Or Japan with Itadori. No need. Oh shit, what is your own plan? Come at me. That's a spicy deal. But would that even be remotely possible? Oh, but how about you don't? Would you ever be able to do it? We'll even take. No, I mean, it's looking as a fucking. the epitome of evil. Does he keep to his words? I don't know. I really don't think so. Considering what happened also in the past when Itojori made like promises um, with Sukuna, but oh my god, as I was kind of saying, Sukuna, the return of Sukuna was kind of the last thing that was on my mind amidst like you know all the other chaos that was going on. Like I did not expect that for them to give us both Toji and Sukuna within one episode, and the death of so many characters to just happen like it was nothing. Like um, Nanami. Maki, Nabito, they got burnt to a crisp. Is that just like the end to their characters? Surely they don't kill like three of some of the most like beloved characters like that. Like surely that's something we can heal from, right? I guess we'll just have to find out in that regards. But yeah, I didn't expect Jongo to appear like that and deal with Nabito, Maki and Nanami like that. But then we also can't forget that Megumi was instantly kicked out outside and is in standing in front of his dad, Toji. So like, what is all of that about? What was this episode all about? Honestly, it was just madness. It was just, it gave, it delivered on everything. I genuinely needed like a timeout during this episode. But at the same time, I just wanted more. Because yeah, everything just went down. Like literally everything just went down. Sukuna came back, Toji's back, characters are dead. It's an absolute shit fiesta from here. Like it looks really bad for us. It's like there is absolutely no one to stop Sukuna. I guess we just have to hope that Itadori can fight and come back as quickly as possible. That's like, I guess the biggest thing we can bank on. So yeah, with that, next week's episode, I feel like we need it right now, but I guess until then, make sure you guys are awesome and I'll definitely catch you guys next week.